Hey guys, hope you're well. In this lesson, we're gonna take decimal fractions. So for example, let's say 0, 0,36, and we're gonna convert that to a percentage. The, all that you have to do is take the number that you can see, so I can see the number 36, then put it over. Now, I want you to start from the back over here, and how many places is it until the decimal? Well, that is one, two, okay? So then I want you to put two zeros at the bottom and then a one. So it's 36 over 100. Now, to convert that to a percentage, we know that when you have something over 100, then that already is the percentage. So you can just say 36%. If I give you something like 0, um, 0,132, then I want you to take the number that you can see, which is 132, put it over. Now start at the back. How many decimals? One, two, three. So put three zeros and then 100. So now we know that to make a percentage, this is supposed to be 100. So what I'll do is I'll divide this by 10. And what I do to the bottom, I always do to the top. So at the bottom, I have 100, which is good because that's how I can get a percentage. Then at the top, how do I divide that by 10? Well, when you divide by 10, the decimal moves one place. So if you can't see a decimal over here, then just know that it's over there. And then when you divide, you move it one place left. Or if you divide by 10, you're moving it one place left. And so that'll become 13,2. So if you get 13,2 over 100, that is 13,2 percent. So now we're just going to do a whole bunch of examples. So with this one, we have to convert this into a percentage. So the first step is take the number that you see, 54, put it over. Now, how many decimal places are we from the back? One, two. So put two zeros with a one. Now to go to a percentage, when you have a hundred at the bottom, then that's easy because now it literally just becomes 54%. We've learned that before, that when you have over 100, then you can directly convert it into a percentage. So here's our next example. So what you do is you take the number that you see, so you see 46, say over. Now we know that um, you must start over here and then see how many decimals. One, two, three. Okay, so we'll put it over a thousand. Now for us to be able to have a percentage we always want to have the number at the bottom as 100. So to do that, I'll divide by 10, and what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And so at the bottom, I have 100, which is good, because to get a percentage, I need 100 at the bottom. Now, what is 46 divided by 10? Well, when you divide a number by 10, it moves the decimal one place to the left. So if you look here, there is no decimal. So then you what that means is that there is actually a decimal at the end, but we just don't show it if it's at the end. Then I want you to move it one place to the left, and so it's four comma six. So if you get four comma six out of 100, imagine you wrote a test out of 100 and you got four comma six, well that's the same as four comma six percent. So with this example, we have to convert this decimal into a percentage. Now we know that to get to a percentage, you need to have it over 100. So we have to somehow get from here to here. So the first step is just take the number that you see, which is a 12, and write it over, um, sorry, I was gonna say over 100, but you first wanna look at from the back of the number until the decimal, how many places is that? Well, that was two, so put two zeros, and then a one. And so there we have 12 over 100, and that is the same as 12%. Now here's an interesting one because this number is not a zero, but that's okay. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna write the number out, two, two, three, over. Now you're going to start from the back, and how many decimals can you see? Well, that'll be two places, right? From the back, it's one, two. So you're gonna put two zeros and a one. Now, when you have 100 at the bottom, then it's very easy to go to a percentage because then it just becomes 223%. So whenever you have 100 at the bottom, then you can go direct 
to a percentage. So to convert this number to a percentage, all you do is you write the number that you can see, 63 over, then from the back, you just count the decimals, one, two. So it's two places to that decimal, so you put two zeros and then the number one. Now when you wanna to convert to a percentage, if this number is already 100, well then you already have your answer, 63%. To convert this number to a percentage, all you're gonna do is take the number that you see, which is 24, you're gonna say over, then you're gonna count from the back how many places until the decimal, one, two, three. So that's three zeros, and then put a one. Now, to be able to go to a percentage, what does this number have to be? A hundred. So to do that, we will divide by 10, and what you do to the top or the bottom, you do to the top. And so at the bottom, you have 100. Now, what is 24 divided by 10? Well, we've learned that when you divide a number by 10, 100, 1,000, you move the decimal by however many zeros there are. So if, if there's one zero, then you're going to move the decimal one place to the left. But where is the decimal? Well, if you can't see it, then it means it's over here and then you're gonna move it one place to the left, and so you end up with two comma four, which is the same as two comma four percent. So to convert this number to a percentage, we eventually need it to be written over 100. So let's see if we can get it there. The first step is just to write the number that you see. So you can see the number three over. Now, starting at the back over here, how many decimal places is it until you get to here. Well, that's only one. So I want you to put one zero and then a one. So to be able to get a percentage, we need to have a hundred at the bottom. So to do that, we could multiply this bottom part by 10 and what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. And so that'll be 30 over a hundred, which is then 30%. So to convert this number to a percentage, you eventually need to have the number written over 100. So what you do is you just take the number that you can see, so that's 2034 over. Now, from the back, how many decimal places is it to get to here? One, two, three. So put three zeros and a one. Now, to be able to get a percentage, we said that we need 100 at the bottom. So I'm gonna divide this by 10, and what I do to the bottom, I do to the top. And so that's gonna give 100 at the bottom, and then what are we gonna do here? Well, what we've learned is that when you divide a number with 10, 100, 1,000, all you do is you move the decimal place to the left and you move it however many zeros you can see in this number. So if it's a 10, then there's only one zero. So we're gonna move the decimal place once. Where is the decimal? Well, if you can't see it, then it's at the back. And you're just gonna move it one place. And so you end up with 203,4. Now, when the number is over 100, then you already have your answer for the percentage like that.